just wanted to remind each one of you that it's never too late to experience a grand new day. Last Sunday, Christian, our son, had the final cotillion event. I didn't even know what cotillion was. I mean, in Scotland, I don't think we have one, and if we do have one, we fry it and we have it with chips, french fries. <laughs> but it's a southern thing, and it's all about manners, and it's just really lovely, and he's been doing that for the last six months. Well, Sunday was the final event, and it was a, a dance. And it was all the sixth graders, the boys wore tuxedos, and the girls wore white dresses, long white dresses and little white gloves, and it was so precious. And the, the moms and dads were invited to come for the last 30 minutes. Well, I kind of slipped in before I was supposed to slip in, because I just wanted to watch them all. And what I hadn't anticipated was what it was going to bring up in me. Because I, I happened to slip in and stand there just as it was time for the boys to ask the girls to dance. And I suddenly became aware of this little girl sitting on a chair close to me, and she looked like I looked like when I was 12. And nobody asked her to dance. And the boys came and they chilled all the pretty girls first, and then the other girls, and this little girl was just left there sitting. And there was something about the way she was sitting that just oh, made my heart ache, because I remembered feeling like that when I was her age. And as I was trying to process that, and the, the dance was moving on, and things were moving on, and it came to the final dance, and I said there was a word of somebody tapping me on my arm, and it was my son, Christian, my 12-year-old boy, and he said, Mom, can I have this dance? And I cannot tell you how healing it was for me at 52 to be dancing with my 12-year-old son, and amidst all these other 12-year-olds, and I thought, Lord, it took 40 years. But I got to do the last dance. And I just want you to know, don't ever give up. It is not too late for every one of you to experience God's grand new.